So you're going to see three movies of three different ways using a shoehorn, three impromptu ways of finding a heel height. You, you know, as long as you've got a shoehorn and a bit of masking tape, you don't even need a masking tape, but you don't want to be drawing on the wall in a permanent way. A simple way to find the leg length difference, the actual leg length difference uh, for a person with a leg length discrepancy, the different heel heights, the actual different heel heights inside a shoe with just using a shoehorn, a wall, and a piece of masking tape. So here's the left, that's the shorter leg, but the higher build up, and put the base of the shoehorn right in the center of under their leg, put a line on the top of the, and put left. The longer leg is the right, uh, but it's the less built up, of course. So I put the shoehorn in the same place, straight under the center of the leg, and make another line. Now, they're both leaning over, but they're both leaning over to the same extent. There's the right. I take it off, put it on the client's information sheet, and put, this is patient A, and that's the left and that's the right. It's relevant, the difference. It's the difference rather than the actual heel height. And you can see that the actual difference is so accurate, it's 14 and a half millimeters. 14.5 millimeters. The same process, this time with two build-ups. This is for a big difference. So assuming that the heel under the shoe, under the boot, is the same, because we're going to make it, this is the actual difference. So the person's leg will come about through there. When you get to know anatomy and physiology, you know where the leg is. So it's not, that isn't how much higher there will be. That is how much higher there will be, right in the middle, Put a line. And this is the right. In this case, in the same place, right in the middle, under where the leg will be. I'm just pushing it down a bit. Left. So again, put it on the client's information seat. This is patient b and showing that if they're comfortable in this orthotic is 51 millimeters this is 51 millimeters higher than that this is way better than going through the sides or adding up because the actual leg length the bottom of the tibia is about there is about there. Uh, another one, this time a lady. So the leg length difference, we've got the inserts out, but just to see what the actual shoe is, so we can uh, maybe design an insert that balances if we know what it is. So right in the center of the leg. As so long as you do the same thing each time. Right in the center of the leg. And here's the higher one. So right. So this, is, this patient has got a lot more going on than just a leg length difference. But still, the actual difference is... Put it on the client's information form. Patient C. And the difference is nine millimeters. Thank you.